Now, your local weather authority with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. Hey everybody, had a great time today. St. Pat's School up in Terre Haute, third graders had a great time talking to all of those kiddos there. We talked about storms and safety and weather forecasting and all of that good stuff. And if you look really close over on the far left hand side, the lady in the white, that's um, Sadie All, who used to work here, was one of our anchors, and she's now a third grade teacher there at St. Pat's. So had a great time. Say hi to all my friends there at St. Pat's School. Had a great time today talking to them. Boy, the weather was nice and warm out there. We talked about how there were storms west of there when I was there this afternoon and how we're going to be tracking those. And here's what we have now. West of here, the yellow, those are tornado watches. Look at all these severe thunderstorm warnings, a bunch of them up here. These are tornado warnings there, and this is a severe thunderstorm watch here. This is a wind advisory. So we got all kinds of things going on here at home we have a wind advisory for everybody in Illinois tonight, but we are focusing on these two counties, Effingham and Clay County. That's a severe thunderstorm watch until 9 o'clock Illinois time. We thought all along these storms will probably weaken some as they move this way, and that trend has been the case today. So we could get a few stronger storms, but I think they're going to be in a weakening fashion as they move in here tonight. High temperatures today. How about an 87 in Vincennes, 82 in the Terre Haute area. That's at the airport. Here at the TV station, we actually hit 83, which ties the record of 83. It's back, it's back in 1977. So back-to-back -back days with record highs, we were at 86 degrees yesterday. No rain yet. There are showers and storms amount moving this way. We're holding at 4.68 inches so far for the month of April. The river in Terre Haute really hasn't started to fall yet, 20.8, so it's still pretty high. And a little more rain moving in, although I don't think it's going to be widespread heavy rain to cause big trouble in the river. Storms tonight, a few could be strong. Turning cooler as we head for the weekend. However, it does look to start warming back up after a snap of some cooler weather for four or five days. I think the warmer weather will be coming back. At the airport in Terre Haute, look at this, 82 degrees. The pressure is falling rapidly, though, as low pressure is spinning up to the northwest of here. These are current temperatures. It's still 82 in Terre Haute, 84 down in the Vincennes area, so summer-like feel to the air. Our joint water tower forecast tonight would take you to Greenup, Illinois. Showers, some thunderstorms, 48. It'll also be windy tonight as that storm system winds up to the northwest. You can see it winding up right there, and it's already generating those showers and storms, some of those in Iowa. Some of those coming into northern Illinois, and we have a few moving into this area. Here's a closer look. These are our bigger storms up here coming out of Iowa into northwestern Illinois, where we have a lot of warnings. Here at home, we don't have a lot, but there's a little bit showing up on the Dorset Automotive Doppler radar. Right on the state line, we do have some lightning showing up up here, and then a few heavier cells southwest of the Effingham area. So overnight, we'll see these showers and storms move in. It, right now, it doesn't look like a major outbreak of severe weather, but a few stronger storms. This is around 1030 tonight, even as we get into, say, mid night to about 2 a.m. But by tomorrow morning, everything should be okay. As a matter of fact, I think a lot of tomorrow will be fine. Should be rain free. We're going to pick it up then tomorrow mid to late morning. Could be a couple showers or storms developing on our east with the front, but I think most of us are in pretty good shape. Then we got to watch as we get into Thursday with another front moving in. That could kick off some showers and storms in here late Thursday. And behind that one, we'll find the push of colder air as we head for the weekend. So for tonight, some scattered showers and storms. Could be a few stronger ones right now. I don't think this is a major problem for us, but we'll watch that. 65 for the low. During the day tomorrow, for the most part, in pretty good shape. It'll be kind of windy, though. Temperature of 76. And then after that, we have another chance of showers and storms late Thursday, Thursday night. Behind that, that's when things get a lot cooler. Highs only in the upper 50s as we head for the weekend.